Garishchenko of Ukraine took silver. They had a double. And Anun of Germany, she cleared 191 and got the bronze on count back behind the Ukrainian Garishchenko. Now the next one, the Germany, you on the way. So then, the final track final of the 2019 World University Games. The men's 4x400 four metres. No Dominican Republic this time around, which will mean a new champion for the first time since 2013 when the Russians won. They're not here either. Even the Australians, who won in 2009, they're not here either. So we are going to get a little bit of new blood coming through in the men's 4x4. Four four. So in the final, there's Botswana with Amondi, Talane, Sek Gopi, and the semi-finalist Clifton Meshak on the anchor leg. Poland are represented by Dushinsky. Semi-finalist Kowaluk, Adamczuk. And the man who was fifth in the 40 metres final, Victor Suawa, bringing them home. Mexico, though, will be very strong. Plenty of quality with Velix Viga, Jimenez Perez, Ramez Rios, and the men's 40 metres champion, Mendoza Falcon. We just skipped past Japan with Kawauchi, Yamashita, Samaya, and Kitadani. Kazakhstan, Zem, Sokolov, Yesmarov, and Litvin, the silver medalist in the 400 flats. South Africa with Mogawane, Zene, Zeliga, and Isaacs, who was bronze medalist in the flat four. Thailand, represented by Shamsri, Konkrapan, Shripfa, and Sonfrongthram. And on the inside, the Czech Republic with Slutti, Tushek, Fries, who's a 1500 meter runner and their usual man at the end, Vit Muller. Yukash Hotpodge and Philip Schneider were in the bronze medal winning team two years ago, but they were both in action earlier today, and so they've been given the rest of the Universiad off, unsurprisingly. Czech Republic, the only one of the medalists from uh, Taipei in this final. The last event of the 2019 World University Games. So then four laps to see who will take over from the two-time reigning champions of the Dominican Republic who are not back to defend their title. No Juan de Santos who won the 400 meter hurdles two years ago and no Linguin Santos who won the flat four two years ago. But the Mexicans are represented by the current holder of that title. We will see him later on. So then, at the beginning and straight away, round this second bend, South Africa look as though they are quite well placed on the inside. We will get a true reflection of the standings when they come round the next bend. Poland with K10 Jasinski handing on to 400 meter flat semi-finalist Darius Kowaluk. Poland always good with the baton in their hands over the 4x4. Four four. And Kowaluk has gone off well, but inside it's as we suspected. South Africa will take the lead, but that's quite a bend they've run by the pole. South Africa's Mogawani has handed on to the 5,000 metre man, Zakiti Zene. South Africa here, striding on. Japan in third place at the moment with Yoshihiro Sumaya, who had the bat with, excuse me, Yan Hamashita, who was fourth in the 200 metres final. Mexico's Jimenez Perez hands on to the 200 metre semi finalist, Ramirez Rios. South Africa now building a big lead. John Randolph Seliga reached the semi-finals of the flat 400 with the baton in hand. Poland now in second place. They have Patrick Adamczyk chasing after the South African. Meanwhile, the Mexicans desperately trying to get into contention with 200 meter semi-finalist Ramirez Rios. He needs to get that baton to the 400 meter gold medalist 
Mendoza Falcon with some kind of a gap that they can bridge in the final lap and he's doing his best here this is a fine leg by the Mexican Ramirez Rios going into third place but it's going to be South Africa who hand on in the lead Gardeo Isaacs bronze medalist in the 400 meters has now got to beat the man who won it Japan have the button in the hands of the man who was eighth in that final, Nayuki Kitadani. And you can see that slightly crunched, hunched style of the Mexican Mendoza Falcone that did him no harm at all in the 400. He came from right behind in the individual. He's got to do it again here in the team event. But South Africa still holding on. It's going to be an almighty scrap. Japan not out of it either. Neither are Poland. Here they come, and here he comes, the individual gold medalist, he's going to do it again. Mendoza Falcon makes it a double gold for Mexico. South Africa, I think, just held on for the silver from a very fast finishing Poland. So the title stays on the American side of the Atlantic Ocean. What a great third leg that was by Ramirez Rios. It really was. It gave Mendoza Falcon the chance to chase down and he obviously loves coming from behind. Yes, not surprising the scream comes out. Well, Camilo, Camilo's chances for Brazil in the 4 by one of getting a third gold medal might have ended with injury. But Mexico, their chances of getting the double gold for the individual champion Mendoza Falcon really came together on that third leg. Well, the Mexicans certainly didn't have their strongest runners on legs one and two, but they too did enough to keep them in touch. Kazakhstan were never really in touch. Poland, who have taken so many European titles in the past, and indeed world titles as well at the World Championships. Not quite the quartet to be able to challenge for gold this time around, but they gave it a good go. Quartet of Dushinsky. 400 meter silver medalist Kovaluk Adamczyk and their anchor man Viktor Sowawa who was fifth in the 400 meters flat coming home to bronze in the end South Africa just surviving that scrap to the line as Japan miss out on the uh, medals altogether he is an unusual looking runner never seen a sprinter who sort of crouches forward but there's no denying his speed. Those long legs taking him past the South African. But Gardeo Isaacs did very well to hold on for the silver medal. But it's gold for Mexico. And a double gold for their new star Mendoza Falcon. Mexicans in the crowd thrilled with that. It's been a great championships for them. You don't generally get Mexicans who are fast over the sprints, but here they found one. Mexico take the gold in 302.89. South Africa just hold on to the silver medal from Poland as Japan will run out of it in that last 100 meters. But it was a cracking finish to a cracking race and a cracking championships too. to the first of the four by fours and the list includes South Africa Poland Mexico Canada Ukraine Germany Australia but the United States of America are non-starters So then Australia out in lane seven. 
with Boom, who was sixth in the 400 meter hurdles, leading off Herring Frost Wasserly, who was a semi finalist in the 200 meters. The Germans are packed with quality Boom, Herring, Frost, and Wasserly, who Ukraine's Mikolenko, Klimiuk, who was eighth in the final of the 400, Polonieva, and the fourth place finisher, Milnik. Canada have Scherer, Westaway, Bouchard, Price. Mexico with Corona, Aguillon Ramirez, Cook Martinez, and the 400 meter gold medalist, Paula Moran Erihon. Poland's Palis, Kalas, Vrona, and the bronze medalist from the hurdles, Anna Dobek, go for them in lane two. And for South Africa, Bilt, Rogel, Joseph, Nien Muller, and the 400 meter hurdles silver medalist, Van der Valt, on the final leg. Poland took this title two years ago. Of course, they had the great Malgazata Hoab Kolovic, the 400 meter individual champion in their ranks that time. They had Justina Sviti Eserik as well, another great of the European athletics circuit as well. Mexico are back to see whether they can upgrade from the silver medal they took in Taipei. with Paola Moran again on their anchor leg. <laughs> Away we go then, four laps of this 400 meter track. Three changeovers, four ladies in each team, looking to see whether or not uh, any of them can stop Poland making it three titles in a row. The Poles led off by Anna Dorato Palis straight away. Ukraine, though, have Maria Mikolenko, who was fourth in the 400 meter hurdles final. You won't see the real spread of the athletes until they come round the bend on the second leg. Looks like Ukraine's Mikolenko is going well. Jamila Boom of Germany is leading off for them. She was sixth in that 400 meter hurdles final. And at the moment, the Canadians with Zoe Scherer handing over to Jenna Westaway may well have the lead. Westaway, who was fifth in the 800 meters final. That was last night, and it looks like she has a clear lead at the moment. The Australians on the outside have a little bit of catching up to do. Morgan Mitchell, who was a finalist in the 800, has got the baton for them. And it's split up into two races at the moment. The Poles, a little bit surprising perhaps, are in that uh, fifth place position. However, Mariola Callas is now uh, trying to bridge the gap to the front four. Canada still leading South Africa in second place. Rogel Joseph, who was a eighth place finisher in the 400 meter hurdles, has the baton for them. The Germans now coming through. Christina Herring, the 800 meter silver medalist, handing it over now to Katarina Trost. South Africa still well placed and the others have managed to bridge the gap. It's become one race again. This is going to be close. Ukraine again go in front. It's Anastasia Holyanieva who has the baton for them. Germany, the baton in the hands now of Trost. She's in second place with the Poles having bridged that gap. That was a great second leg by uh, Karas. It's Alicia Bronya who now has the baton. And the Ukrainians have gone way in front. Germany's trust in second place at the moment. It's a real fight for the minor medal. But this is quite a leg by Holly and Ava. And she's giving Tatiana Melnik, the woman who just missed out on a medal in the flat 400, a great chance here to win the title. Wow, look at that. She's taken 20 metres out of everybody else in one lap. Ukraine first then, and the Mexicans have come through, and it's the 400 meter gold medalist, Paula Moran Erehon, who has the baton. She looked like she ran out of puff a little bit in the semis, but was she just laying it off so that she could take this on in the relay? I really don't think anybody's going to catch the Ukrainians, though. They still have a 20 minute lead, 20 meter lead. 
but Morad is beginning to try and bridge that gap. She's certainly made silver safe, I think. She's got a five or six meter gap now on everybody else. Ukraine are leading the Reds with Mexico in second. Australia battling it out with Poland for the bronze medal. Ukraine are going to come through to take the gold medal. Mexico will take the silver medal. And Australia are going to just hold on for the bronze despite the fast finish from Anna Dobek, who won bronze individually in the one-lap hurdles. But Australia's Gabriella O'Grady, who was seventh in the flat 400, just had enough to take her across the line for third. But that victory for Ukraine, built almost entirely on a superb third leg from Anastasia Holyaneva. Eva, who didn't run in an individual event but has certainly played her part in winning this jer this gold medal in the women's 4x4. And it was the Canadians who got out to the best start at the beginning. But Tatiana Melnik, the opportunity to just bring it home. And that she certainly did. In the end, you have to say that that wasn't... Uh, didn't look like it was going to be as clear a victory as it turned out early on in the race. But Melnik, who missed out on a bronze medal by about a quarter of a second in the flat 400, clearly there with a massive win in the 4x4. Let's have to make do with the silver medal for the second games in a row. Rukat Ray, Ukraine take the gold medal. Mexico again take the silver and Australia come through to take the bronze medal by just three hundredths of a second from Poland. For the look on the uh, face uh, where he was a little frustrated by that. So Ukraine take the title of the 4x400 four meters relay ahead of Mexico. Nothing that the individual champion Moran Erdogan could do about this glorious night for Ukraine with 